What's up, everybody? It's Soren Baker. And I'm Slink Johnson. Welcome to another episode of The Gray Area. Yeah, now Slink, man, we're talking about female rappers today, and we really, two females we need to evaluate because they're both cracking right now. One, Nicki Minaj, the other, Remy Ma. Remy Ma, man. Pure heat coming from both of them, man. And just like we were talking earlier, man, you know, it's kind of toss up between the two because we're not talking about necessarily who's better, but just enjoying the differences between the two because, you know, I was telling Soren, like, both of them are hot. Remy right. Ma's fine as a motherfucker. Nicki Minaj is all drop dead gorgeous. What can you say about Nicki? And they're both lyrical beasts. However, I'm going to say that Remy Ma is a bit more of a rapper's rapper to me. Now, again, I don't want to ever underestimate or, or discount Nikki's lyrical prowess because that girl is a goddamn Nikki. Right. But I just say she has a little bit more glitz and a little bit more of a, a larger production that comes with her as opposed to Remy Ma. I think Remy Ma is no frills. You know, she going to get in the cypher and still be a lady, right. but eat niggas up. But I think... Uh... I think Nikki can do all of that, and I think that sometimes we get lost in the sense that she does have a bigger, you know, thing that she can bring to the table than Remy, at least right now, as far as, you know, having more resources production-wise, having more resources for uh, guest appearances, et cetera, et cetera. But I think, you know, Nikki has been on a lot of songs with a lot of dudes and destroyed them, literally. And she has held her own. <clears throat> and and destroyed them, too. And speaking of which, I do want to say that'll be a dope collab. I want to see a Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma collab, just them two. And who's a hot female beat maker? Hmm. Like, that'll be whoever the illest female beat maker right, out right now. Wonder Girl could be good. Ah, yeah. That could be a good one. Yo, yeah. Trey Capital, can you help make that happen? <laughs> Hook it up, Trey. What's up, one? Yeah, my nigga. <laughs> but uh, but no, I think uh, it's interesting because I know, like that the Mike Cave shirt you got. There, oh, well, thank you, man. Mike Cave, shout out to Portland in the house, man. Yeah, PDX, man. You know the boys do it real big out there, man. Shout out to the bunnies out there in PDX. I'll be back, baby. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the snow bunnies. <laughs> the snow bunnies, man. You already know, man. I love that Pacific Northwestern leaf. And their nice little marine life. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm feeling that shit, man. Yes. But, yeah, man, I want to see a Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma collab. You know what I'm saying? Because Remy came out. Look, man, Remy Ma went, did her, uh, 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 what's she say? Vacation. Her, her seven winters and eight summers. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Came out and came out stomping on niggas, looking good as a motherfucker. Definitely. Stomping on niggas. And I want to give a shout out to Papoose because he a real nigga. He stood behind his woman and stayed with her that whole time because, you know, niggas ain't shit. You, uh, hey, some some of you niggas' woman can't even go to the liquor store without you trying to fuck somebody <laughs> else, let alone prison for eight years. So shout out to Papoose, and that's a real union. I, I love that union, man. I love that yeah, union. Yeah, congratulations and salute to that. Now, the thing is, Slink, I think um, the one thing I think we've seen Nicki Minaj do well one of the things is she's had bigger success doing more different styles mm -hmm. of songs compared to Remy Ma. Dude, now, Remy Ma can flex and she could do all that, but I'm Nicki I, on that Kanye song monster. The come on man. God. And everybody says that she which I would have I mean you could make the argument she outdid everybody on the song. Yeah, I, I, I'd say Jay -Z, hands down. Kanye. I say hands down. <laughs> she murdered everybody on that song. But it's still something about Remy Ma because Remy is very lyrically dexterous herself. Yes. And she's 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 very much a, a real MC, and it's something that just again, I, this is not about better or worse here. No. It's not about better or worse for me as much as it is, you know, respecting the differences. But it's like I say, Nikki is the chick that ride shotgun and got the blammer and she gonna have your back and she gonna have it well when remy ma 
is there, it's like she's an equal. That's like the homeboy. He, you know what I'm saying? We both in a squad, and she with the business all the way. Like, Nikki, you tell me, hey, baby, just kick back. I got this. Yeah, I think niggas. Remy would be the one that wouldn't need to take the hoop earrings to get the Vaseline. No, I think Remy Nikki would want to. Yeah, Remy, she got to take, I yeah. mean, Nikki got to take her earrings yeah. off, put the Vaseline. Yeah. Remy, my, like, what's happening, bitch? And that's not <laughs> to say that, that, that Nikki can't squab. I'm just saying that Remy is ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't saying that, that got nothing to do with the way they look because Remy Ma is a fine motherfucker. Remy Ma, Absolutely. you's a fine motherfucker. Slink Johnson tell you, Remy Ma, you's a fine motherfucker. <laughs> Absolutely. Soren Baker said the same thing. Well, Slink yeah. said it first. Yeah. I still say it though. Yeah, but say it. but um, the other thing is, as far as the careers, Nikki has expanded so much getting into all her endorsements and these different things. Do you think with Remy's vacation, with Remy being more of a harder artist, that you think she has the opportunity to get to where Nikki is? I think definitely so, and a lot, uh, a lot has, to, a lot of it would have to do with Nikki, you know, because everybody is pioneering new areas. You know what right. I'm saying? Nikki Minaj is not the first female rapper. I mean, there's so many uh, female rappers in history who have paved the way and just made, you know, right. gave each one a little more leeway right. than the last. So, you know, again, in Remy's, Remy Ma's absence, Nicki Minaj has definitely been kicking ass and, and paving way and making room for people. And I think that given the right marketing team and the people around her, Remy Ma will definitely be a force to be reckoned with. And that being said, what do you think that All The Way Up has done for Remy Ma that she didn't have before? Took her ass all the way up. <laughs> Cause I think like Lean Back obviously, you know, set her up to where she could be like the next great female rapper, but then she had to sit down, go away for a little while. But then all the way up came back and it seems like she she, she lost no she she didn't lose a step. Right. You know. And you know, one thing about Nicki Minaj, I think, you know, it's just how I'm feeling right now, because people's entitled to their opinions and how the way they feel. I think Nicki Minaj shows more of, she's definitely a beast, but she shows more of a more vulnerability as a woman. Like, yeah. you know, again, in an odd way, like, you never forget that Nicki's a girl that's ripping the mic when Remy is just, she's a beast. She's asexual right. on the mic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and again, and that's taking nothing away from her or her femininity at all, you know what I'm saying? Right, but right. just on the mic, She's just such a fucking ferocious beast, man. Like Remy Ma is a monster. Yeah, man. So where where do you think that they've taken female rappers that they hadn't been before? Oh man, all over the world. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? All over the world. Not and and, and becoming more than opening acts and and and, and yeah. you know uh, uh, little headliners. Rec you know they're not headliners. They're not just record store fodder. They're they're you know they're headliners and you know. You gotta, you gotta watch the evolution, man. Like I was talking about some of uh, the early uh, West Coast rappers, like uh, JJ Fab, right. like, like Yo Yo. You know what I mean? And to, and to see, uh, see, you know, see the evolution. Roxanne Shante over there on the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? To see the evolution, like again, Roxanne Shante was a beast mm -hmm. in her day. However, you know, MC she, Light, of course. MC Light, yeah, MC Light was a beast as well. You know what I'm saying? I think people took MC Light a little more serious, you know, because the thing Roxanne Shante had going on with UTFO, it definitely right. was entertaining and fun. However, you know, uh, it didn't get, you know, for I know for myself, I couldn't see her past that. Well, she didn't. She was, she was doing a lot of other shit after that, but that yeah. was the shit that, well, that's the Roxanne Her and Shantay. the real Roxanne. That yeah, was the, exactly, the real That Roxanne. was the two, but MC Light ended up having a career, but we're gonna, talk about more female rappers on another episode of The Gray Area. And right now, y'all need to hit us up with this Nicki Minaj, Remy Martin. Let us know which one is better, why, are they equal, what's the differences, the pros and cons? I don't wanna know what's better. I just wanted you to tell me why or how you appreciate Remy Ma and um, Nicki Minaj from each other. And you know, like, share, subscribe, leave comments down here. Send me some weed. Follow me on all your social <laughs> networks. At Slink Johnson. You see it right here. At Slink Johnson on all your social networks. See me some weed. And if you see me in traffic and I'm trying to get on from somebody, let me in the car and we'll talk about it later. There it is, y'all. I'm Soren Baker. And I'm Slink Johnson. Mr. Gray Area, y'all.